Hey guys, and welcome back to Nightcry for one final bonus episode. Now, if we go to load data, I have actually managed to obtain a 100% complete file because I was not going to be playing this <laughs> multiple times. Uh, you can see as well, I didn't realize this, um, I'd unlocked quite a lot of this by myself before I was <laughs> like, there has to be a better way. And luckily there was. But a lot of these endings are just the same. So, although there is multiple endings, there is multiple ways to get the endings. Anyway, if we return, one thing I will say is I do like the flow chart. You know, when it actually works properly, because it does tell you how to get the uh, endings. So, let's go to history and enjoy all of the endings together. We're going to play all of them. Um, you know, I know we've seen a couple of them, but for the sake of this game, we're going to go watch all of them. So, this is a nice, complete video. So, ending one, a face floating on waves. What's with those weird masks? Wait, no, no, no. So that, of course, is the ending that we get if we do not make a social media post for reasons. Not really sure why or how that affects anything, but we're not gonna question it. So next, we have It's All Too Late. And this is this one is if we don't use the non-slip gloves in chapter two. And now the latest news on the ship that went missing. The Oceanus had been sailing off course for almost a week, but it was discovered today near the Caribbean Isles. The investigation team found no crew members and no passengers aboard. We are told they seem to have vanished. Searches of the ship's interior have not revealed any clues of how this incident occurred. It could be said to be the greatest mystery of the 21st century. Uh -huh. I would disagree. It's not exactly the greatest misery. Uh, mystery. Might be the greatest misery, though. So, now purgatory. The rest of these endings actually happen right sort of at the end of the game. Ah, hang on. Wait a minute. These endings aren't even in order. Ha. Huh. Interesting. How interesting. So technically, the next ending is purgatory. Uh, and this is what happens if you do not take the medicine that uh, Eric gives us. Oh, we see the old lady again. I was waiting. You finally made it here, Rooney. Now we can play together forever. Oh, she's missing a lot of skin on her on her head. That's unfortunate. Yeah, not really sure. Uh, it's like she turns into some kind of zombie or something. I I'm not a hundred percent. That. You know, I guess taking the tablets did stave off some sort of weird zombie virus. I don't know. Anyway, next ending is Seduced by the Snake. And this is the ending we get if we do not turn off uh, Leonard's life support machine.
together forever. Again, it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, it's some sort of, I would assume, mental projection. Or maybe he, his disembodied head actually did come back to life and want to join on to Rooney. Um, but I didn't think there's any, like, sexual intent there. But then the ending is called Seduced by the Snake, which is incredibly um, innuendo-y. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm not... Obviously, I'm too thick for this game. Uh, then... And the next ending is called Pre-Established Harmony. And we'll get this uh, if we didn't give the wedding ring to Angie. Uh, we will run into Vigo. When we try to go through his... Um, uh, I think it's right at the end where you, when you try and go through the elevator with the VIP card. Uh, if you didn't give the ring to Angie, Vigo will be waiting for us and we will get... Where is it? This one. I was waiting. You finally made it here, Rooney. Now, we can play together. Forever. Yeah, it's basically the same ending again with uh, a little bit extra. Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess they just decided to recycle the purgatory ending. Uh, maybe they made the pre-established harmony ending first, and then they're like, wait a minute, if we cut this in half, we can actually make this one scene into two endings. Maybe that's the thought process. I don't know, man. Like I say, this, this game is way higher than my IQ can, can handle. They're operating on a whole other plane of existence. Um... Anyway, the next ending is called Trap Party. And uh, if we fail to read uh, Vigo's diary or find the old photo, we will find uh, Jerome waiting for us. And we get this ending. She seems happy, at least. Hey, nice of you to join us again, Rooney. Jerome, where are we? We're in a hospital in Miami. We were rescued. It's all over now. It's over? Finally. We'll be just fine. You've got nothing to worry about, Rooney. Absolutely nothing to worry about. Hmm. If you notice, it looks like you were in the hospital bed there, uh, next to where Leonard was. I don't know if that's true, um, or whether they just recycled the scene. I don't know, man. I don't know what's implied in that ending either. Is he going to take care of her? Is he going to murder her? Uh, we never find out. <laughs> so, it, another ending that's just a giant nothing burger. Um, now... The only other ending from the true ending that we have left is The Lone Survivor. And uh, this will play out if we fail to um, grab the artificial eye. Of 
course, Vigo is the only survivor uh, of the whole experience. I guess that's what he wanted. I guess he just wanted to murder a whole ship full of people for for some reason. It's not explained. You know, we don't know what his motives were. I guess he was just a big old murdering bastard, which fair play. And then, of course, once more we're feeling we have the true ending. This is Rescue 103. We found the ship requesting rescue. It's definitely the Oceanus. Over. Roger that. All units in the vicinity are heading your way. Over. And this just plays out the same, obviously, as we saw when we originally completed the game. Anyway, guys, that's enough from me. I'm going to leave this to play out and roll out. And I will catch you next time in a much better game. I promise.